Like at this point, what is even going on? From this chapter, I came to the conclusion that the Jogon doesn't even exist in the Boruto manga because like after seeing that front page with Boruto with the Byakugan, I'm sitting here like, We have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. <laughs> When I had first seen Boruto's new form, I was like, oh, that's the Byakugan. But then based on everyone trying to kind of be logical in the sense that, okay, Boruto, when he used the karma in the first episode, he had the Jogan in the anime. But now it just seems like the Jogan is like some anime exclusive dojutsu. And in the manga, they just like, yo, throw my dude a Byakugan real quick. So uh, there's a lot of stuff happening in this chapter. So first off, why wasn't this the cover art for the previous chapter that would have just been raw i mean boruto i'm not even gonna cap this man got me wearing my headband like now i wear my headband on my neck type shit like cause that that shit is just raw like i just it's a new wave now like i don't even need to have that bitch on my on my damn head like it's a damn it's we just keeping that bitch on some otsuki mode type flow but uh i have a lot of questions for this chapter first it was definitely a dialogue heavy chapter and i really didn't get what i wanted out of this chapter i was expecting full blown out kashin koji versus jigen from this chapter because the last chapter ended and it was like yeah i'm gonna take him down boom 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 so i'm sitting there like yo okay this shit finna be heat and then all of a sudden we get a chapter named amato and amato is on some bullshit going to the hidden leaf i'm sitting there like bro we was literally just pumped up to see Ka i was literally anticipating this chapter the whole month i was like yo this shit finna be heat this is going crazy like i was really expecting this kashin koji versus jigen to go crazy but then they was just like nah you good hold this amato uh trying to join the hidden leaf village on some random shit and amato defecting and i'm just like okay bro but first we see uh basically naruto basically gets brought back to the village they're all in the hospital cheering up naruto oh naruto you're back you know what i'm saying you got smacked by jigen you got mopped up by jigen but okay you're back in the city now you know what i'm saying hokage status uh but i have a lot of questions first of all how did they get out of that dimension like they that's one thing where i was like yo like how are these dudes about to get back to the hidden leaf fields that's one thing that i was thinking at the end of the last chapter and they literally just skipped over that shit and was just like okay but boom you in the hidden leaf fields again so i'm like yo i got a question but uh this chapter definitely asking the real questions in terms of boruto and the karma seal and momoshiki's intentions per se that's really what i wanted to focus on with this chapter because i feel like based on a conversation that mitsuki had with sasuke mitsuki was like yo uh, master sasuke can i can i have a word with you i don't know why that was so funny to me but seeing mitsuki talk to sasuke like on a personal note it just makes me laugh because of the relationship between orochimaru and sasuke so it just makes me like lol but basically mitsuki was like yo like the Kara member said that Boruto was Otsutsuki Momoshiki's vessel. And then Sasuke is basically like, yo, like, so Momoshiki's will still exist in the karma. Just like my theory said two years ago, where I said that this was the seal of rebirth. So he basically, Sasuke was just insinuate, was, I mean, Sasuke, of course, like anybody else, speculated that Momoshiki is trying to take over Boruto's body. And he was kind of suspicious of Momoshiki's motives in granting Boruto such a power. But sasuke says it makes sense if this would allow momoshiki to resurrect himself so that brings up a good question like why would like what do you gain from that there has to be a reason that you are giving boruto you're transferring this power we know that in the otsutsuki clan the transfer of power is like a way of life that's like the basically the creed of the clan so uh are you just doing it so you can see the world further and but are you doing it to push your will further on the universe because i feel like it's i feel like knowing momoshiki it's like a selfish desire that he wants to push his agenda etc or he could just be a curious individual but i feel like if all these osuski are doing this shit like ishiki to jigen and momoshiki to boruto there's some underlying like lore between like the otsuski uh, basically taking over the world utilizing these vessels to just continue their their tirade so uh I'm glad that the Hidden Leaf Ninja are actually finally catching on to the bullshit that the Osuski are on. And through uh, Amato coming to the Leaf Village and basically saying, yo, I got intel that I can supply you guys. I'm trying to be on your side. He said that in return to, uh, 
letting him basically stay in Konoha, he's going to give you intel on Kara, Jigen, the Ten Tails, and the Otsutsuki. So this is gonna be where we get a lot of the information regarding like the, the uh, in-depth details regarding a lot of the stuff we have been wondering about because we've literally been speculating since Kara has been put into the equation you know, what is the backstory what is all this so i'm a lower heavy guy so i'm definitely about to be like hype when a model starts spilling the beans on these boys because i mean i'm just waiting to get my hands on this information like i feel like i feel like damn shikamaru in this motherfucker like i'm just like yo i need intel i need intel i need intel type beat so uh, amado that shit came out of nowhere really because he's uh connecting with kashin koji and basically like kashin koji let him use his boiler toe to infiltrate the leaf village and he was basically like yo stay to the right side of the gate or some shit like that i don't know kashin koji must like i don't know how the fuck this man got into the uh he must have marked like i don't know they might have been on the village outskirts or something but or kashin koji had nah there's no way Nah, because Yamanaka Ina would have basically sensed him if he was directly in the village. He must be on the outskirts where Ina Shikacho is training or something. But basically, Amato wants to join the Leaf and give them information. But and also another thing I want to point out that I want to make a video on. Uh, Kawaki, during the fight with Boro, said that basically all the inner car members have ninja tools implemented into their body. Like their infrastructure as a human or human whatever type of creature they are they're all basically constructed by amato in terms of the ninja tools that they use inside their body so amato was shown to have like an override command that can basically shut down any of the inner kara members and when kashin koji saw amato do that to delta my boy was wondering like damn like that seems to be an emergency shutdown code i suspect I've similarly similarly been programmed so my boy like thinking of all the different angles like yo like this man could really sleep me out at any time so I need to uh, proceed cautiously so I mean Kashi and Koji always be taking notes on like the different abilities of his uh co-workers per se so I mean it's weird like yeah this chat there was just weird as hell like this chat there did nothing for me it literally did not this shit did not accomplish like what did we accomplish by this chat there what new information did we learn? The only new information that we learned was that Amado basically has a shutdown code for the different car members who he's created. That's that's the only thing we learned. Like, bro, what? Literally, we gained nothing from this. Like, they've literally they're saying stuff that we already know. They're trying to have a deep, deep conversation about oh Boruto. Uh, what's going on in his body? Oh my gosh, so and so. I'm like, bro. Like, I know, I know, I know. The truth about karma is definitely going to be revealed. Well, we're just going to be able to paint a picture per se if they don't say it like straight out and just like, boom, this is what car karma is about. I feel like I'm going to be able to theorize and paint a picture myself just based on my aptitude for theorizing within this universe. I'm going to be able to paint the picture for you guys and for myself on what. We're actually looking at in terms of these Otsutsuki getting these vessels and what their kind of goals are based on the information that Amato provides for the Otsutsuki. Now, if we have this whole little transition where Amato taking damn near 5,000 chapters to relay the information, then we're going to have a problem. Because you need to start talking the next chapter if you just wasted the whole chapter 44 on basically just pulling up to the Leaf Village and saying shit we already know. This chapter really didn't have that many much new information or shit to dissect, but uh, I'm going to pick out some topics that I want to talk about in more detail. So stay tuned. It's been your boy, Anime Analyst, a.k.a. the Young Jiggy Ninja. We out this motherfucker. Peace.